Water jet cutting is considered the king of cutting methods. So what would happen if someone carelessly touches the water jet during operation? And what materials can a thin water jet cut through? First, place a magnet block on the table and turn on the water jet cutter to gently make a cut. The two magnet pieces repel each other and shoot to the sides. Next, they conduct an experiment using handcuffs designed to restrain prisoners. When the water jet hits, the handcuffs shoot sparks and the cutter keeps moving. Where the water jet touches the handcuffs, black water flows out. After the cut, we can see that although the handcuffs are not completely cut through, the cut is shocking enough. Next, a bigger challenge is presented with a large large, heavy iron anvil. The anvil is stood up for the water jet to cut through from one side to the other. Before long, the padlock is cut in half. With such power, I dare not imagine what would happen if one's hand touched the jet. Two different hand models are prepared with bones inside. Gliding the model hands across the water jet severely deforms the outer rubber layer. Fixing the hand on the table for the jet to pass through exposes the bones inside wherever it touches. Putting another fake hand model there and turning on the water cutter pierces right through the hand. Indeed, the water jet cutter is not as simple as it outwardly appears. In your opinion, what should be done to ensure safety when working with this machine? 